Oh, hi all, welcome back to the John Deere B tractor restoration and in this picture we have the business end of the pulley come clutch um, set up, for want of a better word. So this sits on the end of the crankshaft through that hole there. And that gear there drives the gearbox through that first reduction gear that we were talking about in two or three videos ago. We can see the brass, um, be it brass or whatever, I don't know what it's made of, but the bushing there inside, which is um, oiled, generally lubricated from engine oil. I suspect it's oiled by a splash because obviously this sits next to the mains uh, main bearing and um, obviously oil will be squidged out of that bearing and then lubricates all this area. So that lubricates this bush. Um, while we're on this side you can see the, the dogs, these here. Can't maybe just see them working that well. The T bolts, the ends of the T bolts, the pivots. Uh, there's three of them. When you take this to bits, uh, this takes some. You've got to use a press to push this gear on and off. You will then have this slide, the sliding coupling here, which is uh, activates your clutch, and which in turn works on these dogs. The clutch fork sits in here like that through the slot in the side of the casing and moves that inside and out. So when you put it all together make sure you put plenty of oil and grease. Grease on the dogs and the and the little uh, dog bone type pieces that fits in there. Oil on the sliding coupling just so when it started up initially it's not starting up dry. Um, so, yeah, so that's pretty much that side. So that bush there, as I say, is lubricated from engine oil. And on this other side, if we spin it round, we can see the drive face for one of the clutch linings. Behind that cover there is a roller bearing. And this is the roller bearing that if your um, pulley is sounding a bit rough and noisy, it's probably because that roller bearing has dried out of grease. You're meant to pack that roller bearing in there with grease. Any good high melting point grease will do. And so snap that all back in there. There's the ends of your T-bolts. There you are. Make sure that you put the split pins back in because the last thing you want is one of these coming out, not coming undone and that falling back over inside the engine and uh, jamming up your gears. So the next job to do is to put a lining on, a new lining. Um, these are um, lead and asbestos free. So there you go. So I've got these linings from America. So you put the lining in. I tend to put it so that these slots, which I believe are for dust, so they're pointing out over, like that. Now I have actually got a new driver. I think if we remembered in one of the last videos, we decided the driver was worn. Um, well, actually, that's not strictly true. The, the driver, which is this piece here, which bolts solidly to the crankshaft, this, the driver was worn on another tractor I had. And so I actually robbed the good driver off this tractor to put on that, knowing I was going to have to buy a new one. So there's the new driver. That goes in there, like that. And get your other lining, your other facing. Chop you there. Put that on there. I'm going to um, just tip this upside down. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that now. Um, sort of. And then you've got this part here which is the, um, the other half of the actual clutch mechanism. So you sit that in there, on there, so the three T-bolts come through these holes here. 
Those springs sit in the um, past the, uh, the facings and the um, and the and the driver. Obviously, I'm building this up roughly because obviously I can't. This has to be built up on the tractor. I just thought it might show better how it all works. So you tighten when you're setting your clutch up. You tighten these nuts down uh, like so. I'm just going to tighten them up so the nuts are all level with the tops of the T bolts or the ends of the, sorry the ends of the bolts. Um, one thing you need to make sure is when you're tightening it all up and it is difficult to do. Now you can see that these T bolts have all moved. You've got to make sure that the T bolts are sitting like that and have not moved out um, out and uh, are not sitting correctly so you sit it over like that tighten the button nuts down like so make sure you have them all tightened up evenly and once you've done that set the clutch up so that when you're moving your lever your clutch lever it moves I don't know if you see you can see that you can see that um, outer plate moving and the idea is that when you move it it's over centers on those dogs and it over centers so it nips the linings between nips the lining between that face and the driver face and the lining inside there and the opposite driver face. Um, uh, it has actually uh, snapped in. It snapped in there and that should be locked up tight. So, hopefully that might be of some interest here on how the clutch works. Can you see that moving there? I think I can, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so there we go. It's basic workings of the pulley and clutch to the tractor. Obviously, I'll take this back out and um, put it all together on the tractor. And then there's a big nut that goes on here that tightens that driver onto the uh, crankshaft. Okay, then. There we go. Thank you.